All right, so before we get this farm started, let's talk about the most important thing, soil. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and coming to you here today, we're actually talking about the foundation of our new farm. So where I'm at now, I'm actually at the new farmhouse. So I'm gonna go ahead and link our farmhouse series here. We've got that going on here next to us, but it's given me a unique opportunity to take a look at the foundation of a farm, which of course is the soil. I'm here in the leach field. So this is the leach field. This is where they were digging uh, down. They went down, I think it was about four feet, three or four feet down. Uh, to put our leach field in and they g dug out all that dirt it got mixed up a bit when they went to go and put it back but what i want to show you is exactly what kind of soil we're going to be working in so as Lori slides in you'll see this guys is dust there is absolutely nothing in there nothing alive so we've got a whole lot of dusty silt uh, which eventually would turn into clay once you water it you can see there's a lot of rocks we're going to talk more about this here in a second but we've just got a whole lot of dead there's no life here at all now one of the things when it comes to soil wherever you're farming or doing your gardening a lot of times and it's been the case for us as well we really have no idea what's going on underneath what we see so here in arizona what we're really dealing with more than anything once you get past the silt and that clay that builds up you get down to what we call caliche so let's take a look at that so one of the things that you're bound to find if you're here in Arizona, if you dig down deep enough, is caliche. And essentially what caliche is, is petrified dirt. But when you look at this, it almost kind of looks like sandstone. So it definitely is solid, okay? So it's not, you know, it's not just your standard dirt clod. It's definitely solid, but you can see I can pull it apart. So, and there's... <laughs> there's literally nothing here it almost looks like salt but there's pieces of rock in here uh, but it's what it narrows down to it's petrified dirt so now your layer of caliche can really vary you can have a few inches of caliche so once you start digging down a few feet you hit this you can have a few inches or what you can't see is how thick this was this was actually about four or five inches thick before i broke it in half so i could show it to you on camera we already knew we were going to hit caliche we just didn't know how far down it was going to be and how thick it was going to be. So we have some a very unique advantage here at this stage of building because we have a massive trench for our electrical line. So I'm going to jump in that. Here I am in a six foot trench. So this is actually the trenching that is done to extend our electrical line from our, our electrical service provider. So I'm down here six feet down, which is their requirement for these lines, which is right here next to me. So as I'm looking down this row, and I'll give you guys a bird's eye view in a second, I can clearly see where I go from dirt, which is right here, solid clay, so hard pan, clay dirt down into my caliche layers and it's very very consistent so at the front of the home here i would imagine in the vast majority of areas on the property i'm going to be dealing with the exact same thing and it's what i saw as they were trenching for the septic system as well but what i can see very clearly i'm going to grab a knife so i can kind of show you as i'm looking at this what i'm dealing with here is really really hard but clay dirt so i'm dealing with clay as I continue to come down, if Lori can get, catch this, as I continue to come down, down here, I'm actually dealing with a mixture of clay. It's softer. I'm dealing with a mixture of clay that's not quite as compacted. So a lot of clay that's dry and silty. So I'm dealing with clay here. Now, as I go down, it's even more rocks. So again, very silty, but I can get my knife down into it. As I go a little bit further, so at this point, I'm probably about four feet down. As I go down to here, now I'm starting to hit rock. I can get it, get it out, but it's much harder. You can see it looks like chalk. So I'm starting to hit that caliche, that petrified dirt. As I go down further, it starts to get even harder. So now my knife's not even going in. So you can see I've got a solid layer of caliche right in here that's probably about three or four inches thick. And then once I get past that, I start to soften up again, hit a couple more hard patches, down six feet, I'm still dealing with caliche. So essentially I've got almost a solid layer of caliche, which is what I wanna show you from this vantage point. 
So we're sitting, your eye level is right at about three feet, so we're about halfway down. And I'm hoping the camera can actually pick this up, but you can clearly see the line of caliche that, that runs down the length of this trench. So this trench is probably, from where we're at now, is right at about 120 to 150 feet long, six feet down, and I'm looking at a solid layer of caliche once I get down about three feet. Once I get up to that three foot level, I start turning back into dirt again, which is great to grow in, because uh, we can deal with that. The issue is gonna be those rocks. Here, we'll talk more about how we deal with this because there's ways of getting around and dealing with this. So obviously for our fruit trees, fruit trees are not gonna have a problem with this. Fruit tree roots, generally speaking, are actually very shallow. They spread out. So they'll go down a couple feet and then they'll spread. So we can really easily work with that. That's not a problem. What we really want though, is we also wanna to try to get some of the nutrition because I'm dealing with rocks down here now I don't know about you guys but there's a few products out there that people spend a lot of money on to throw into their gardens and that would be rock dust so essentially what you saw me dealing with down there guess what guys it's rock dust so we've got it underneath us so what I really want to be able to do is get down into these areas mine some of that out of there and then get that onto our trees and our plants because minerals tell you what when it comes to flavor in your fruits and veggies it's coming from those minerals okay so to wrap up today dirt we talked about dirt I'm surrounded by dirt this is so cool for me being a farmer knowing that I'm gonna be on this land for the foreseeable future dealing with what we're seeing here and turning it into a functioning farm that's productive for us and all the people that come here and visit or buy from us this is where it all starts just amazing to be down in this and what a really cool unique perspective so just want to thank you for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Instagram and Facebook, we post things there you won't see here on the YouTube channel. Questions or comments, hey, would love to see those down in the comment section down below. And Amazon, if you haven't checked out our Amazon page, anytime you do your Amazon shopping, if you use that link down below, doesn't matter what you buy, if you start there, you help support the work we're doing here. So just want to thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you.